bowheads are pretty good. Catfish up in there, down below the, the dam, and your walleye, northern smallmouth bass. Bruce is kind of a river pilot cut from the cloth of Mark Twain. It's called Big Rock. Notice the flat platform towards the top, sticking out over the water? That is a diving and a jumping tower. And when I was, uh, uh, Kate, how old are you? Nine. I was 10, Kate. I was diving off the top of that into 15 feet of water. He knows the intricacies of Split Rock Creek, which ranges in a matter of feet from 15 foot depths. That's about two and a half fathoms to us land lovers, to a matter of a couple of feet. Plus he has wisecracks and a spiel all along the way, developed over, over time. The bird nests you guys tucked underneath the ledges. Anybody know what birds live in them? Swallow. Uh, what? Swallow. Swallow. Very good, you guys. Anybody know what kind of a swallow? Hey, guys. We're friends, not bull. <laughs> These are called, you guys have heard of barn swallows? That's the most common. These are their cousins. These are called little swallows. In fact, Alex, this beautiful cove right here. We call this cove the Cliff Swallow Condominium Cove Complex Community Center. See them all there? Uh, yeah. The sand was turned into a metamorphic rock called quartzite. Oh, look. One of, if not the hardest rock next to a diamond in the world. So look at our herd of Norwegian exotic attacking antlerless elk. Right, yeah, oh my god. Here to Island, Minnesota. This